In this video we're going to look at to extend a home network and I'm going to look at the various options available for extending a home network. Now most people want access to the internet from any room in the house or office, maybe even the garden or summer house and Wi-Fi is the most common access mechanism people use to access the home network and the internet and the problem is in many houses not just large ones the Wi-Fi coverage can be poor or non-existent in some locations so in this, this tutorial we're going to look at the various ways of available of extending the network so we can connect to the internet or connect to the network from any required location now here's a quick diagram of the problem we have now we've got a, a room here with good coverage and we've got a couple of rooms here with little or no coverage and our task really is to extend this coverage into the adjacent rooms. Now we're going to start by looking at a, a basic home network consisting of a single access point uh, that's part of the wireless router and that's described in the building a home network tutorial. This is what you find in most houses and here's a, a quick diagram of that. We've got a wireless router connected to the internet and it supplies wireless connectivity for the wireless devices and also provides a hub or a switch for connecting Ethernet devices. So here's another diagram here and basically this is area 1 which is got good coverage and we're going to extend this to area 2 which if we go back is this area here. So if we assume the present access point covers area 1 but not area 2 and our job as I said is to extend the wireless coverage into area 2. Now to do that we'll need to a second access point in area 2 and we'll need to connect these two access points together. Now the three methods available for connecting the access points together they are using a UTP cable, uh, use home plug adapters or connect using a Wi-Fi range extend, extender so that's uh, using Wi-Fi and we're going to look at all three methods so the first method is to use a UTP cable. Now you can purchase these cables in various lengths, which means you don't have to create your own cables to make the own ca your own cables up. However, the problem is you need to run the cables between rooms, which means, or usually means, drilling holes through walls and pinning cables to walls. And it usually involves a lot more work than the other methods, but it's very, very low cost. The other alternative, the one I like, is the home plug adapters. Uh, they're a lot more flexible and you can add network connectivity into any room that has a power outlet which is basically almost all rooms. They work using the ohm electrical wiring to carry the Ethernet signal between the rooms and there is a tutorial on the site about them and I'll put a link in the description below. And they can be used to extend wired and wireless networks. Now generally they work, work in pairs but you can actually use more than two on a network and they plug into the main socket and usually provide an Ethernet connection on each end and there's a little diagram here. So here's our home electrical network here and we plug one of these adapters into the electrical socket on each end and an Ethernet cable into the home plug adapter and the Ethernet cable goes and connects to your laptop or your computer. Now they also come built with built-in access points so you don't actually need a, an additional access point so if we look at the next diagram same thing here except this one here is not hasn't just got an ethernet connection it also has a wireless connection so this is uh, acting as a, a wireless access point now these ad adapters tend to be a little, little bit more expensive than the just ethernet only ones but they do save you the cost of buying an additional uh, wireless access point as well now the third method is to use a wireless repeater or what they call a range extender uh, so you see the terms repeater range extender and signal booster used and they're describing the same thing. Now a wireless repeater takes a wireless signal and then rebroadcasts it. This means that the repeater must be in the range of the original wireless network. It also means that the throughput is actually halved. Uh, however, you get some repeaters they use different bands to get around this. So you could have one using the 5 gigahertz band and the other connection uh, to the other access point using the 2.5 gigahertz band for connecting them together and here's a little diagram showing that so we have area 1 here and 
we have the wireless access point here sitting between the two networks so this is going to repeat the signal from this network into this network and from this network into this network and that's what connects them together now when you have more than one wireless access point each access point has a network ID or a SID now this is my network my home network and you can see here I've got a network here and I've got another network here so these are actually two separate wireless networks in the same house now the problem is is if I move from the coverage of this network to the coverage of this network I lose the connection the connection drops from the original network and has to reconnect to the the second network now it is actually possible to configure the network so they do use the same uh, broadcast ID, uh, broadcast uh, SID, and so they appear to be like a single network. And this configuration means that when the user moves from one network to the other, they don't um, lose the connection. However, that causes problem with some devices and not all uh, wireless access points let you do this. So it generally you'll probably find that you're using what I showed you earlier you're using a network with multiple um, network IDs I just want to show you a, a couple of things here and th things to be aware of the in the UK you can get these wall sockets they just replace your original sockets and they've got Wi-Fi and a Wi-Fi extender built into them so you don't have to have a separate thing that plugs in here to extend the network these are very very useful and I assume you can get them in the in the US uh, I found a one on Amazon here I think it's it is the same thing but you have to be careful uh, you have to read the documentation very carefully because you'll find a lot of what they call smart sockets around and now these have Wi-Fi built into them but what they are is they're sockets that can be controlled by Wi-Fi they are not range extenders so when you're looking if you're looking to use these type of things then be careful what you're buying you don't get buying a smart socket when you actually want a uh, a range extender because this won't extend the range all this will do is let you control the power on this using using a Wi-Fi signal usually the giveaway is that it says they can be controlled by Alexa or Google Home and in which case you're talking about a smart socket you're not talking about a Wi-Fi uh, range extender which is what this one is here that's the end of the video if you've got a comment then leave the comments below if you like the video then you can use the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel until the next time goodbye